Hey guys, this is David. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. I will be reading from um, Mark chapter 8, verses 31 through 33. Jesus predicts his death. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Now, Peter just made a really, really important um, statement about Jesus, that he is the Christ. He is the Son of God. He is the Messiah. But Peter is looking at this through a different perspective than Jesus is looking at this. Jesus begins to teach about his coming death, and Peter has an earthly view of things. Peter doesn't want to lose Jesus. Peter thinks that when Jesus dies, it's going to be like when anybody else dies, that Jesus is just out of his life. He's going to miss Jesus. He's sad that Jesus isn't there, and um, he, he uh, he, he doesn't know what to think about it. So he pulls Jesus aside and says, dude, no way. And, um... Peter has that perspective. Jesus has a kingdom and heavenly perspective. As Adam said a couple days ago, that Jesus is constantly focused on the cross. Jesus knows that his death on the cross and his burial and his resurrection and his ascension is the only way that God can be glorified through any of his life. It's the only way that any of this can work. It's the only way that we can be saved. That Jesus has to go through what he's about to go through in order for all of us, for all time, to enjoy kingdom heavenly, eternal life with him. It's the only way that we can be redeemed from our lives of sin. So Jesus isn't necessarily calling Peter Satan. He's just saying, look, dude, you've got the mind of the world right now. You're not thinking kingdom-minded. You're thinking with the mind of, of the prince of the power of the air, who, who is Satan. You're not thinking with my mind, you're thinking with Satan's mind right now. So you need to put that down. You don't have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Today we need to drop our human concerns, and we need to start looking at things through the mind of God so that we can be kingdom-minded. We will suffer We will go through things. We will be rejected and put down, and and it's not going to be easy. Jesus never promises it to be easy, but he is there with us. He didn't leave forever. He rose again, and he ascended, and he gives us his Holy Spirit to carry out our work. Let's pray. Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus Thank you, for, uh, thank you for our earthly mindsets, that we can get tripped up on things, that uh, we can learn through, through the difficult teachings of the Bible, that we can grow and we can become uh, <clears throat> better. God, help us to lay our earthly minds and our earthly actions down every day at the foot of the cross. Help us to live in the resurrection power and life of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I would ask that you would guide us and lead us and direct us so that we can walk as heirs, co-heirs with the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.